Hey everyone, Pastor Jordan and Sonny here. Today we're asking the question, are there two baptisms? Now in Acts chapter 8, it starts off telling us that a great persecution broke out against the church and it scattered the church out of Jerusalem into all these surrounding cities and villages. And now Philip has gone down to Samaria. Now it says that in the passage here, that there was even the sorcerers, even Simon the sorcerer got saved and was baptized and believed. But he was seeing something unusual happen that when the apostles would come and they would lay their hands on people that they would receive a baptism in the Holy Spirit. And so that's what we want to talk about today is ask that question and kind of answer today, are there two baptisms? So in Acts chapter eight, verse 14, I'm gonna read it. It says, now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For he had not yet fallen on any of them, but they had only been baptized into the name of the Lord. So they had, had received Jesus, they had their water baptism, but they hadn't had um, this baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it says, then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the hands of the apostles, he offered them money saying, give me this power also so that anyone whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, may your silver perish with you because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. And so the very fact that Simon wants to buy the power of the Holy Spirit, you have to understand he came through from a background as a sorcerer. That was his profession. That's how he made money. Mm -hmm. That's how he um, had his livelihood was through giving people these spiritual experiences. And so I can just only imagine he's a new convert. He says he believes in Jesus. He was baptized and he's thinking to himself, this is a great new business opportunity. I could go around and start laying my hands on people and um, help them have a benefit to their life and, and get back my income. Mm -hmm. And so the very fact that he's offering this, it shows that actually there was this encounter, there was this infilling of the Holy Spirit. Now the apostles clearly told him his heart was in the wrong and um, told him that that wasn't possible. But we can see that there was a water baptism and there was a baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it was so transformational that it would cause people that understood the spiritual realm to hunger after it. And so we want to encourage you, mm -hmm. um, perhaps you've said you've believed in Jesus. Maybe you've gone to church for a long time or have been watching us online. And you're at the place where you say, yes, I'm a believer. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. If you haven't been water baptized, that would be the next step. And we would encourage you um, to reach out to us. If you don't have a church that you're a part of and you want to be baptized, we're going to figure out how to way to baptize you. But secondly, if you have not had that infilling of the Holy Spirit, that we believe even through the camera as we stretch out our hands to you, mm -hmm. um, and even you can pray for yourself that that baptism of the Holy Spirit can come to you today. So Pastor Jordan, can you pray thank for those you, that Jesus. are watching? Lord, we thank you, God Father, for your anointing and the infilling of your spirit. We just pray for the baptism in the Holy Spirit today. We pray, Father, for an empowerment today, God, Father, from you, Lord, that we would be able to walk out and do miracles, Lord, and see supernatural things happen, Lord, Father. We pray for the gifts of the Spirit, Lord, to be poured out on our life. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we thank you, Lord, Father, for your blessing upon our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.